Welcome to the Allen Institute for Brain Science Technical Tour. This tutorial will demonstrate the basic search and navigation features of the BrainSpan Atlas of the Developing Human Brain. To get to this resource, from our portal page, you can either click on the Developing Human Brain button From the drop-down menu from any of our web pages, you can click on the Developing Human Brain, or you can directly enter in the URL www.brainspan.org. BrainSpan is a multimodal dataset that includes genome-wide RNA-seq and exon microarray data from 8 to 16 brain structures over 11 developmental stages. BrainSpan also includes a genome-wide, higher-resolution, laser capture microarray study of a 21 post-conception week donor that is complementary to the Allen Human Brain Atlas. It also includes a cellular-resolution, in-situ hybridization study from five brain structures of key developmental, marker, and disease genes. As navigating microarray and in-situ hybridization data are covered in other tutorials, this tutorial will focus only on the developmental transcriptome dataset. You can browse the data by selecting from the tag cloud, or if searching for a specific gene, type in the gene name and then press the search button. What I'd like to do is show you the differential search, as it is slightly different from this kind of search in our other atlases, as it includes a temporal component. Differential search is designed to find genes with enhanced expression in a structure or developmental stage when compared with a contrast structure or stage. For example, let's search for genes in subcortical regions, including the hippocampus, the amygdaloid complex, the striatum, the dorsal thalamus, and the medial dorsal nucleus of the thalamus. Then to look just at the prenatal stages, unselect all the stages after birth, and then click search. Let me first orient you to the data presentation. Genes are listed on the y-axis. The x-axis is sorted first by donor, color-coded by age. Prenatal in blue, birth in green, and the older postnatal stages range from green to red. The next row represents the structure, also color-coded. You can toggle the initial sort parameter between donor and structure by clicking on the toggle button in the upper right-hand corner of the heat map. As you mouse over the data, you can see the donor, their age, and the indicated structure listed above the heat map. The heat map itself represents the data as gene level RPKM, or reads per kilobase of mapped model per million reads. The color map grades the magnitude of gene expression from no expression in the dark blue to high expression in the hotter, redder colors. We searched for genes with enhanced expression in subcortical regions and in prenatal stages. As you look through this data, many genes show enhanced expression in prenatal stages, but in all structures. There is one gene, however, NTS, or neurotensin, that shows the specific pattern we selected. You can see more information on this gene by clicking anywhere on that row, as more information will be displayed above the heat map. This gene shows enhanced expression primarily in prenatal stages, in the amygdaloid complex, the hippocampal region, in the striatum, and in the thalamus. To find genes with a similar expression to this ideal seed gene, use the find correlates search, which is similar to the neuroblast search in the Allen Mouse Brain Atlas. When you select a gene by clicking on it in the heat map, Find correlated expression data by clicking this button. What we now see are genes with a similar expression pattern to NTS, which also show enhanced prenatal expression, but primarily in subcortical regions. 
The data shown here is, is in RPKM at the gene level, but the data was collected at the exon level. To see that data, click on either the gene name or the gene symbol, and you will be taken to a gene detail page. The gene detail page has gene information, including links to the UCSC and Ensemble genome browsers, a minimal gene model with the exons represented by blue boxes and the introns by green lines, and an area that includes the RNA-seq and exon microarray data. In the RNA-seq tab, the exons are on the y-axis and are highlighted in the model above as the mouse hovers over each exon. When looking at the exon array data, Similarly, the exons in the model are highlighted as you mouse over the different probe sets. We also include external links on this page to better understand the properties of this gene and its products. Thank you for taking this tour. This project was funded by the National Institutes for Health and was produced by a consortium of institutes. For more information, or to start using this resource, please go to our website at www.brain-map.org.